This Christmas Day, we highlight another life well lived. On December 6, 1964, NBC aired for the first time a television special called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, based on the famous Christmas song, and a holiday tradition was born. I love this Christmassy time of year. Nearly six decades later, and long since on CBS, the stop animation Rudolph, with the voice of Burl Ives as Sam the Snowman, remains a family classic. Okay, Rudolph, full power! The special was created by a pair of now iconic producers named Arthur Rankin Jr., and Jules Bass, who in 1969 added Frosty the Snowman to the Christmas canon, using their signature style known as Animagic. Let's have a parade! Bass, who also composed the music for those animated favorites, was born in Depression-era Philadelphia, the son of a beer salesman. He met Rankin while working at a New York City advertising agency in the 1950s. Producing commercials together, the pair began to study and then use Japanese stop-motion animation. Together, they formed Rankin-Bass Animated Entertainment and became pioneers in the art form that has grown from that painstaking stop-motion to multi-billion dollar animated movie franchises. The first Rankin-Bass production was the 1960 television series the New Adventures of Pinocchio. I'm an old hand at this sort of thing. <laughs> Bass and Rankin later produced television movies, but they are best known for those holiday classics, including Santa Claus is Coming to Town and Jack Frost. Bass went on to write children's books and a 2001 novel that became a feature-length movie. Jules Bass, creator of some of the traditions that make this time of year so special, died this fall in Rye, New York. He was 87 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.